What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Third Person. This is the Third Person Podcast. My name is Chris, and with me, as always, is my buddy, Mikey. Damn that's it. right. That's what, what? 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 I pointed to the wrong side. It's fine. Dang you. Every time. Guys, what's up? Welcome back. We're doing another Game of Thrones episode, Season 7, Episode 3. It's titled The Queen's Justice. Yeah, justice. Dude, Out they're, for justice. They're getting better, man. I'm really, I'm really liking it. I know, I don't know but I don't know about you, but I'm really liking it, man. I'm uh, I'm fucking super stoked so far. I'm upset. I think I mentioned this last video because before we know it, it will be gone. I know we're down. We got three. We only got four more. We're almost we're almost halfway there. And anyway, you heard the rumors. You heard the rumors, right? That they may not film next year. Next we year might until not, right, yeah, and that that'll be 2019, and that would <sighs> suck a dick. Suck because we 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 started this channel for Game of Thrones, specifically Game getting, of Thrones. We're getting like teased, and this then is... <laughs> and you know we like well you know what? we'll do The Walking Dead until the Game of Thrones comes on. And we did a couple other things and stuff, and it's just like finally it's here, and it's fucking short, and it's gonna and stop, it's... right? Yeah, so whatever. Anyway, yeah. you know what? Hey, enough about that's okay. The... I'll take it. Yeah, take exactly. It. We'll take what it's we can get. Enough of the bad too. stuff. Why don't we get into uh? The let's get into stuff. the episode, man. Let's get into the episode. Yeah. So why don't we do this? Why don't you tell me yes. what your favorite scene was? Ooh, that's a good one. Um, I think I had multiple scenes. Um, you know how cool I am and how giddy I get with the reunions. Yeah. Um, but I think my one of my favorite scenes was probably the last scene with Lady Olena and Jamie. Okay, and, yeah. um, you know, just her admittance of um, Joffrey's death. I think that was, uh, you know, she's a great actor. Obviously, we mention this all the time because there's such great acting on the show. But it was just, it was just, you know, she went out like a boss. You know, she went out. True, she knew yeah. she was, she you know, really she, did. she knew exactly what was what was going to happen. Jamie puts the poison in the wine. She drinks it, and then that's where she kind of lays it on, and she says, "Make sure you, you tell Cersei that I'm the one that did it." Yeah, he I was thought like, that was, yeah. yeah, he didn't know what to do for, uh, for a second. I thought he might just take her out. Because he would be. Enraged, I thought that too. Like but... he just he pulls a sword and chops her head off. Or yeah, but there was a lot. I think, but that just kind of stuck out for me a little bit because, um, you know, she she was a badass. You know, what about yeah. you? She 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 lived like she died, man. No, she yeah, no, she, no, yeah, she died like she lived, which was like a, as a badass. Um, uh, anything else? You want to say anything else? Yeah. <laughs> Well, just for well, I can sit here for a long time, I think. But uh, no, I, I, as far as great scenes like that, I think that okay, was... that was one. Okay, so yeah, my my great, I, ha I have a runner up. Um, yeah, my great scene would be uh, John and Danny, Danny and John, in the throne room, going back okay. and forth. That to me was, I really enjoyed that because it was yeah. like they, she's like, well, I'm here doing this, and I want this yeah. from you, and he's like. He's There's like, I get threat, that. Bitch. He's like, I get that, but yeah. you're not I, hearing me. I don't I give a I shit about the same that. Thing, but oh, I was so I happy, just, dude, man. I love. I sometimes you don't like when characters, like where they bring a character because you mm -hmm. think it's not it's it's not really in their yeah. character to do those things. But they're like keeping John, like he's just like John knows what the real threat is. Yeah, he dude, doesn't give a shit. He says it. Dude, he's you know? like, exactly. And, and, and what, what I really enjoyed about it was the fact that she's like, okay, you're saying all this stuff. You're saying you need my help. You're saying all this, all these things. These, the, the dead are coming to kill us, blah, blah, blah. She's like, you need my help. You want to ally. She's like, if, if then why not just bend the knee? Then, and he's just like, mm, I'm, I'm no. not here for that. And then he, she's yeah. like, okay, look, your <laughs> your, your, the Starks yeah. pledged fealty to the Targaryens way back when, before my father, before his, way back, thousands of yeah. years ago. And you, and, and you, she's you need like, to do this again. And yeah. He's like, and that never breaks. <laughs> she's like, yeah. that never breaks. So are you going to, and he's like, I, I, once again, I'm not yeah. here for that. Can we please just, for, he's like, I don't give a shit about that. Basically let's deal mm -hmm. with them. And then you could do whatever you want to do. Here's the other thing. That dude is humble to a fucking like T man. He's just like, look, <laughs> yeah. he's like, I don't, I didn't even want to be king. I don't care about that. My only job right now is to make sure that Westeros doesn't, you know, die. Well, look at how Davos kind of had his back. That was um, great. And then wait, and he and says George, that thing. You know? He says he took a heart to the knife and, she, and he's uh, like, but, yeah. but, 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 and John's like, wait, you know why I got that? 
was because I mean, believe me, dude, I enjoyed the scene. A lot of the reunions from our reunion um, video, uh, yeah. video has has been coming true. Um, there was so much that listen, Danny. Since day one, we know what her her motive was. We yeah. know where she wants to be. Right? That's never changed, which is John awesome. exactly. John has seen the whites. John has been beyond the wall. John knows what the, He's been the beyond life is. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. So they're 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 fighting for something that's so opposite of each other, yeah. and obviously we know as the viewer that John's cause is 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 the the true cause, the one that we have to worry about because right. it's not going to matter who's on the Iron Throne. Right. So there will my be no big, Iron Throne. Exactly. My biggest part of that was no matter what John would say, um, there's no way uh, Danny, Danny would believe him. Yeah. And there's no way John could have said anything and Danny would not just forget about the Iron yeah, Throne. Right. I think the only cool a cool part of it is that Tyrion was there. So Tyrion can vouch for John. Otherwise, who knows what Danny might have might have might have done. And I think Davos, um, by saying, listen, he took a, uh, a knife in the heart and John kind of saying, like, well, slow down, dude. She doesn't believe us as it is. Yeah, don't go. For, don't go there. You can't yeah. go saying now. John died and she's not going to believe him. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, yes, I loved I mean, I, I did enjoy the back and forth and I did like um, the second part we got from them about the mining of the dragon. So, glass. Yeah, she allows him to. Yeah, she's like, yeah. Oh, and that was all really Tyrion. But I also, that was Tyrion's exactly. idea. And... That was a great companion to that was the fact that Tyrion's like, just let him like placating her yeah. to placate him. Well, she's going to need him extra now after we've seen what mm-hmm. happened with. Yeah with um the unsullied and and just cersei outsmarting everybody yeah, we'll get to that in a second but yeah um i mean yeah the, the, and then just just as a as a as a side thing oh, yeah. uh, as a little bonus thing that i liked was when john and davos see the the dragons like oh that, and they all that yeah. was great and they get up yeah. and they're the only ones that are on the ground they're looking <laughs> around yeah, and that I, look that he gives Davos before the scene cuts was right. just classic, dude. It was. I so think he's like, Tyrion was like, um, you, you, you'll think you get, get used, used to, to it, it or but, something, right? But he's like, yeah, yeah but you don't. Oh, it was so good, man. It was. It was, it was good. good because we saw all, you saw all three of them flying around, and it was just a really cool dude, it shot. It startled me too. Yeah, I was like, yeah. oh, sh- damn, right? son, so yeah. good. Like it was. So, it was a great, great opening. Yeah. Um, and then sticking with Dragonstone, real quick, mm. just as a, 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 it definitely needs to be mentioned, how Varys. Basically, you know, strong, not strong arms, but he talks to Melisandre. He's basically like, you're, you're, you're going to get the fuck out of here now, asshole. Yeah. She's like, I did here. what I had to do. Yeah. And then I'm... she's like, yeah, I'm, I'm going, you, you bald idiot. I'm going, yeah. relax. Yeah. You know? And he's like, but you're never coming back. She's like, no, I'm going to come back because I have to die here. And so will you. He's just like, that, yeah. He's like, and he uh, looked, he really, he really looked wait, also, nervous because I, oh damn it! Right? Sorry, I, I, sorry guys. I forgot that if you guys could put the wording down there. But he says, she says something to him that you know she mentions that she knows about his past. So there was something, a prophecy well, she, or some type of curse that he got himself something that he got involved in in his past that he just as Cersei knows, Cersei knew that her kids were going to die. This has been something she's been living. Yeah, in. there's yeah. something with Varys. Well, remember back. I don't remember exactly which scene it was, but I don't I, I'm, I'm assuming it's a scene that you're talking about where um, uh, the the other red witch, the other one, yeah, that had up. said had said to Varys, um, "Do you remember what you heard when they threw his parts in the flames?" Oh, yeah, remember. Yeah. So he knew that sh- that these chicks, that these red, pri- these priests, these priestesses, red priests, know yeah. stuff. So I think that's probably after Melisandre says to him, "Listen, I'm going to die here, and you're going to die here." You got a look from Varys. I don't think we've really ever seen that's him. That's what I'm give, saying. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. So I think he knows um, that it's not. You just can't take what these what these people say yeah. as bullshit. No. So it was interesting to see how and when, um, or if it doesn't even happen that Var- that Varys uh, might. But uh, it was might a nice go. little. It was a nice little. A nice. Little they know a lot nugget. of stuff. They know a lot nugget, of stuff. Yeah. They've been around for a long time. You know, we remember with the glimmer thing with the necklace. Um, she's really this old haggard monster. She's been around. Yeah. Don't they mention it in the books that that yeah. there? Man, she might have been like a few so. hundred years old or something yeah, I like that. So yeah. Yeah. But so, yeah, so uh, she's definitely right. yeah. So they they're they're the you know uh, the Lord of Light is something I'd like to see expanded 
Um, mm. And maybe they'll do it in the companion series when they, that, they're, that they're supposed to be doing. Anyway, yeah. let's move forward, man. Um, I, I, what did you think about Euron uh, bringing, dragging... Uh, what's Ty, her um, name? Alaria and Tyene. Yeah, and Tyene. Right? Yeah. I thought, um, and by I the mean, way, I, guys, I just want to. Uh, yeah. In the last video, we it kept calling her Martel. A Martel, a Martel yeah. kind of. But she's sand. Not. It's a sand because you know that's. I think she's she, from Dorne, and that's yeah. what isn't they that call their sand. bastard song yeah. name though for them? Is she sand. was with. She was his lover, right? Mark, so we call um, him. So and and, yeah. and 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 in that video, I put her, I plastered her name all over it. I know. So I got a message like, "Yo, dude, we were saying, you know, yeah. I got a message from Chris saying, "Yo, dude, we were calling her Alaria Martel." But after I did the I'm research like, after after the fact, but I, yeah. I, I tried to fix it in hey, the video. So but, anyway, so Alaria and Tyene, so they're the only two left alive from there. Mm -hmm. They go there, and y you know, and he's and like, Yara is with them. Remember, I mentioned this just before we were recorded. I thought the bringing Yara in was a little weird because they didn't do anything with her. She just right? she was just there, but was really funny so, is that was that um I guess that's just his prisoner and he didn't have anything to uh Yeah. I just like I liked how when they were walking in that what's her name spits in that in that guy's face as they're walking in. They are all yelling oh, yeah. at her. Yeah. And, and uh, uh Larry spits, just spits, at, she at, spits her, at, yeah. at Cersei's feet too. I uh, mean Oh yeah, that yeah, and he's like and she's like, Oh you'll or Cersei says you'll get what you what you want. Right? Cersei's and then, fucking crazy, dude. Wait, yeah, because then she goes and then she goes and, and she bangs Jamie, and and here's the funny part. I told, I, mm. I mentioned this last time. Jamie does not really like her anymore. He understands. He loves her. It's his sister, and he has mm -hmm. his love for her. They had children. He's got this internal, yeah. but but oh, but realistically, he's really kind of done with her, and he's just doing it. He's not all. I'm telling you, he's not all there. Yeah. And I have a theory, and one of my theories is that in the end, he's going to turn on her. Well, remember I how he if, killed? If remember how he killed the Mad King? Yeah. Not to say that that's exactly going to happen, but I'm. I think he's going to turn. I think she's going to cross a line that he's going to be like. There's going to be something. Listen, um, I don't want to. I, I, there's something I want to get to that, but the thing with 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 Euron, this is why this is like the Jamie Euron thing. Mm -hmm. When Jamie, when Euron was oh, making he said, those, she like those stuff? remarks, is she is she like it rough? And and Jamie just looked like you know. So that's just getting to. Um, I'm wondering what's going to happen with with them. Um, <laughs> I think, listen, in the end, Cersei got what her present, her gift from Euron. I don't necessarily know. But he know. didn't get what he wanted yet. Exactly. Well, she said when the war is over, you'll have. Yeah. So what do you think is going to happen? She's going to kill She's going to kill She's not going to do nothing. Yeah. She's, she's going to kill him. Yeah. She's, exactly. She's saying whatever she needs. And I think that that um, her sleeping with Jamie was kind of giving Jamie like, yo, dude, you have nothing to worry about. Um, also, uh, I kind of feel I, I felt that, but I also kind of felt like she was feeling a little randy because she got a little she, she got, little got something she wanted. She yeah. was getting off on it, and she was like, "Yes, yeah. my shit's my my shit's coming to fruition." She's yeah. like, "I fucking need some dick." And well, she went it, and did it that. could. I mean, you know, it could I, be. Look I saw at, both. I saw both. I saw I saw it as both because yeah. at, you know initially it was like, "Yeah, give me some, give me give me that you know that mm -hmm. JD." But then yeah. in the morning, she's like, gives him a kiss. He's like, don't. And she gives him a kiss. And she was like, how about when she just good. says, he's like, no one can see us like this. Yeah. And she's like, I'm and the fucking queen, motherfucker. And then I she can, opens the door and the shit. girl's there. And oh, like, uh, real quick. Let's talk about the, the bank um, real quick. How the oh, Iron yeah. Bank shows up. And he's basically like, look, Listen. <laughs> yo, it's a lot of money. But I'm we're kind of putting all our chips on your side. And she's like, listen, listen, I got this. Yeah, I got your money. Stay here for a week. Relax, chill. Yeah. I'll get your money by the time you leave. Meaning, yeah. they're gonna. They knew what they were gonna do with the tire. They, yeah, it was. Um, you know, since since um, you know, since Tyrion kind of have has been off on his own, and now he's the the hand of of of, of the queen to Danny. You know, he's he's very strategic. We saw back in season two with uh, when um, Stannis and everybody and they they were gonna uh, take over. King's Landing and and uh, the the the, the um, what is it called the the gasoline the green fire stuff that Tyrion yeah found and placed in the in the what, what are they called in the Fuck, sea dragon. what uh, the hell is it called again oh that's it's, damn it we need we need fucking Jesse here man that's the problem man. Right? he has, I know. He has don't say nothing and it'll, it'll pop back yeah. in, in dragon dragon fire anyway point is but yeah we see that 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 Tyrion is very strategic he's smart man he's a smart dude. Um, but, he got outsmarted. He got outsmarted. Dude, um, absolutely crazy because 
that happened. Wildfire. Like, oh, they, they, wildfire. Wildfire. That's it. They yeah. took. I'm like, oh shit. They took the rock, and then. You know, Grey Worm's like, where the fuck is it? And then, and then they see. Up. I mean, um, Euron rolls up with his fleet. Oh, and I was like, holy shit! They just destroyed that. Then they show up at the Tyrells, and it was yeah. like. Well, let me ask you this. Let me ask you this before we get into the Tyrell um, part. Even though we kind of we we all know what happens. Um, what do you do? You think there'll be any consequence since we've already seen Tyrion's plan kind of get. Um, broken down with you know yara getting captured by you know euron is a crazy you know navigator on the seas and and he's taken out now two for parts of danny's Play- fleet well she says you know they so said, they have she says she wants to draw she said she wants to take the dragons to king's landing yes i know and they're but like do you no 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 they'll, they're like can you stop the thinking like that do you think danny will um maybe under you know undermine Tyrion's next no, plan no, or you I don't think, think so. I don't, have, look I don't that. think I don't think I don't think Tyrion's gonna get punished because how the fuck was he supposed to know? Well no, but he that's got not, outsmarted that's quite not a bit. true. He did get outsmarted so is he gonna lose confidence in himself number one. Number Something two like that. will Danny I don't think Danny's gonna punish him per se, but I think she may be like damn it She'll maybe he guess, does, maybe, maybe he time. if he's gotten outsmarted maybe you're right so maybe there will be a little bit of maybe she'll think that he's, gotta be he's some fall- not 100 percent loyal Seven. or something maybe those kind of um you know that because I remember think, that i don't think that i don't think i do I don't think necessarily that, think that so either but that's just throwing something else yeah out there, i but. think there's gonna be rip i think that i think what they're gonna have they might have a bit of a falling out and then they're gonna have to and then they're gonna have to be like listen we need to stop and let's not yeah. fight with each other we have to figure this out what's gonna happen when fucking Tyrion is on the opposite side of his brother oh fuck jamie won't kill him jamie's not gonna kill him this he's is what not. i'm telling you he's that not. might be it mikey it might be that Cersei is about to kill Tyrion, and and jamie kills her i'm telling you it's he's something. not He's he loves his brother and he's not going to he That's chooses be, he chose his fucking brother over his dad. Yeah. He yeah, fucking he'll knew. Let his, he he let knew. His, Give me a know. fucking he knew. He knew. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? He knew he was gonna kill that motherfucker. Anyway, yeah. so that shit was crazy. That yeah. that chick was crazy. Olana, Elena, what like you said earlier, man, just a, just like a joy to ha- every scene she was in, I fucking she Love just didn't her, give right. a fuck, right? She, it was, she was like, I've been through this shit. She's like, and she says at one point, I've outlived all of them. Yeah, when she was talking with Danny, right? right? To be a dragon. She's like, I, yeah. she's like, I saw this, this, this. I outlived all of them. Mm-hmm. So the fact that she went out like a fucking baller, Jamie knew it. Jamie, Jamie, man, I'm telling you, he was a little baby prick. And I, if anyone's had growth, I think he's had... One, he's one you of the characters that's had Jan- one of the yeah, most He's growth. probably the biggest, right? Yeah. The biggest change. Not even necessarily – I mean, of course, he's a he's a pivotal character. But from how much you hated him from episode one when he pushes Bran out the fucking window to where he is now in the evolution of Jamie, it's – you know, it, it's really remarkable. It's it's amazing. Um, and that's why – How and that's much why, he can change like that. That's why – you know? Yeah, that's why he's going to do something. So – He's standing there, and and mm-hmm. dude, just the look on his face when she's like, "I I did it. I fucking I killed that motherfucker," you know. Yeah. Uh, and it's funny yeah. because um, you know, my wife is like, like, "Tell her, tell Cersei." Yeah. She goes. My wife's like, "Did we? Did we know that?" And I'm like, "Yeah, yeah." She told she told Marjorie that back yeah. in like the in that what are the two Season seasons ago, four or, four or something, whatever yeah. he died. I was like, "Yeah, oh, yeah, we knew that." So yeah. that was great. So she's a baller. I'm happy about that. Um, me too. Me too. What about? Um, there's a couple things. I don't want to yeah. make this too long. We could. I mean, seriously, dude. Well, let's not forget Bran. This is where I wanted to go real quick because yeah. I, I was hoping to... it was. I was hoping it was Arya. I kind of knew. I mean, because you, they've been I, moving I didn't, everybody I knew so Bran, fast. It was going to need to be Bran or Arya. Arya's because, next. Yeah, Arya be Arya's next, next. She saw him and it was like, oh man, that's so awesome. She was like, holy shit. And here's the All best right. part, dude. So he's just like, yeah, I'm three red raven. She's yeah, like, she's like okay, but that? then why you know? can't you? He's like, well, how do you know all this? Oh, three red raven told me. She's like, but I, but you're the three red raven. He's like, yeah. yeah. She's like, I'm so fucking confused. She is very I'm confused. So confused. I'm confused. I was confused in that fucking scene. Wait, but then wait, but then she says, but then he mentions the I wedding, know. and he, she's like, all right, now you're freaking me out. I gotta go. I gotta bounce. Yeah. I'll see you later, well, little bro. I gotta bounce. You're freaking me, let the me fuck out. Let me, let me, let me just give this my two cents because 
I'm the reuniting reunion fucking guru, and I love these things. And I was excited to see as soon as um, as soon as Sansa walked and saw yeah. saw Bran there because we haven't seen them together since season one. Yeah. I mean, when everybody uh, departed Winterfell, but I don't like how he was so um monotone and very emotionless and i think it was too drastic of what we've seen before with him um listen he's he was with mira for the longest time he was with hodor for the longest time he still um uh, emitted emotion and when he was you know worried or you know he had normal kind of conversing with these with these other characters now I don't. I it, it was kind of drastic for me the way he acted this, this this episode. So I don't know if that's just what they want him. Maybe he evolved even more since that. That's what they're trying to portray to us that he's he's become the Three Eyed Raven so much um, so much greater now that they're very uh, emotionless. Because listen, the original Three Eyed Raven wasn't very no. He, he, emotional yeah, I'm gonna either, let me, but, Yeah, I'll, I'll I'll shed the light on it. And and what yeah. it is 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 the fact that yes. He's been through a lot of shit now, dude. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. He, at this point, Mikey, he's he's got the weight of the world on his shoulders, literally. So yeah. not only that, dude, he's a young person who yeah. didn't know what was happening to him. He was immobilized at a very young age. He yeah. had to flee his home. Like, dude, the trauma of that trauma alone would cause it. Hey, I mean, I understand, but we never seen that. We see that but, was way, no, way but this in the is beginning. My point. Then you couple that in a, and put on top of that the fact that yeah. now you have an eternity of of knowledge yeah inside of you and the future that's what i'm saying it's he's got the past president dude that would and so at this point he's just like just how john yeah. thinks that the the battle for the seven kingdoms is, is has nothing to do with anything yeah. anymore yeah he is a step above john being like you don't even know well, the difference he's the most powerful person there is let me let me tell you the fir- the best part of of the reunion with them too was when they were at the weirwood tree um, uh, before he got all weird with uh, you look beautiful after you got raped. Well, before you got raped by yeah. Ramsey, but was when um, Sansa says, oh, I wish John was here. And he was like, me too, because that's something I need to tell him. Yep, and I that just got me. Like, yeah. You know, yeah. but um, you know, that was, that was very exciting for me. But um, one last thing that I had about this scene was, now there's some rumblings around. We know that um, we know that he's all seeing. We know that he can see the future. We know that he can see the past. Now there's some things going around the internet that um, Bran gave um, Sansa this kind of emotionless um, attitude. He didn't even hug her. You know what I mean? Because the fact that he uh, that Sansa may betray John, and he knows this because he obviously knows the future. Oh, I'm not necessarily, okay. I'm not necessarily saying that will happen, but that's right. just some it might be that things yeah, okay. running around. Maybe. All right. Um, I don't know how true, how much I believe. Well, maybe it, it doesn't have to be that he she betrays him, I don't, but something I don't, he knows something, something about he does, her. Yeah. He know. Look at Littlefinger's in in her ear, even after John fucking pushed yeah, him yeah. up against the the wall in the crypts. He's the first guy. Like they gotta get the fuck this guy out of there. I know. I want so, him to die. Hopefully he will. Yeah. What about but, um? You know, we we forgot to mention it earlier, and I really wanted to bring yeah. it up real quick. Going back to Cersei, how she poisons mm-hmm. Tyene, yeah, in front of her mom. That yeah. was excruciating. If you wanna, if I had to vote for an excruciating scene, it was that. But it was also a really badass scene because Cersei. Like she never ceases to amaze. Yeah. Right. She explained she all just, these different ways she that she could have tortured her. Never and... ceases to amaze, and 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 yeah. she was just like, "Get guess what, motherfuckers? Because you know what? You're now gonna watch your kid die yeah. in front of the you." The same like, way. So sick. That. Kyber. Yeah. Kyber was like, "Yep, here you go. Here's the antidote. There you go." Yeah. Like. Anyway, I just I had to, I had to mention that that was yeah, no, that, I mean, that gets a that scene gets she a, has some great dialogue. She has some great yeah, dialogue. As she said, I thought about, you know, um, killing, having the mountain kill you, uh, kill her with um, just the way Oberyn was killed. And, yep. you know, but how can I uh, harm this beautiful face? She mentioned Tyene's beautiful face multiple times and then she lays one on her. So, yeah, Cersei's fucking nuts, dude. 
I and it. um yeah I, I can't wait to see what what goes down with them like i said earlier in the video we only have four left uh everything is moving so fast i think we're going to see a lot i can i know. have um i have a th- i have a quick little theory about that but yeah. first uh before we get to that let's really tickly quick tickly quickly talk about jora and how yeah. sam's treatment worked yeah. And um, two things with that. One, awesome. He says he's gonna go to. He's gonna go to the. You know, that's gonna be gonna awesome to get Danny. her back. Yeah. That's yeah. gonna be fucking cool. I actually, even though Jorah's like a whiny little bitch when it comes to her, I still I want him to get back with her because I think she needs him, and I like it. And I and I like that even though she. He's another. You know, times. he's a, he's another. You know, he's a he's another good fighter. And I just I um, like I like Jorah. Yeah, I like Jorah too. But I, and I, mean, I wanted to see him go. So I was happy about that. It's a win for Sam because I like how the Archmaester was like, you know what? You did a good job. And I'm, and I'm glad, you know, that was a real boost of confidence for him. Well, and he said he, you did good. You betrayed me. And he's like, yes, I. But you did kinda, it. But you did it. Yeah. And it's just, it's just, I'm just so happy that they didn't reprimand him and be like, uh, you shouldn't like they do like right. they always do in all these things like i yeah, thought that they be. may have gave him his first link or his first chain or something i think no that been because cool, yeah right? because he didn't actually finish anything he just i mean he whatever i mean i know you get of, yeah you get links from when you do specific things they but. said there's because the arch maester said there's um maesters that have uh such, such a of links shit, yeah that that have never done right. this and you're just some guy that cleans up the shit pots but yeah, yeah i'm wondering if there's something specific um in the because remember he said i want you to rewrite all these um he wants you to, documents he, because... that have been just ruined by bugs and all these kind of things yeah. i wonder if there's something specific in there that he'll find that maybe. will be some kind of pivotal um document maybe a parentage document perhaps maybe you know? um so but he already knows though didn't he doesn't he, he doesn't know, know John's parents. He just uh, knows. Oh, we just said he though. might get to know. Okay. Anyway, oh, yeah. you're right. Anyway, um, all right. So, uh, I, 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 we're gonna we're gonna end this. But uh, yeah. I, I had I had a something I was thinking about, and I actually think that they're gonna fight Cersei this season. I think that's how this season is gonna play out. That they're gonna fight Cersei. I can um, see that. Yeah. I don't. I don't. I don't. Either they're gonna start the fight. Or they're gonna fight and then continue it next season, um, yeah. or something like that. But I think they're definitely gonna face off against C- Cersei, and I think next season is gonna be the White Walkers. Gonna I think be... I, I agree with you, especially dude. It's six six episodes. Yeah, it's even shorter. So um, I can see my little quick little theory, and I want everybody that's watching this. I, I, we love answering your comments, so put in in those comments. Load them up with your theories and your ideas and your possible reunion hopes and all these things. We love getting them, so just put your stuff in there. We want to hear what you guys have to have to to say. But yeah. I think that um, I'm thinking Littlefinger's gone for sure. I think this, he's going to get killed. This, yeah. this, I agree. This season, I could possibly even see maybe the Varys thing going on. But I agree with you. Um, you know the Varys Masande kind of prediction now. Yeah. Um, but I'm, I, I I do think that Cersei's going to be dealt with this season. Yeah, I do too. It might be the finale. Yeah, I think so. Exactly. Um, and there's also, yeah. there was a, um, this was just a quick little uh, credit. My brother and I were talking and he's mm-hmm. like, you know, and I, and I looked around and I was like, do my, you know, walking around the net too. you know, that there's yeah. a criticism that the show is less complex than it should be now. And here's my, here's my answer to that. It is less complex because all the other assholes are dead. Yeah, everybody say, is less dead. Houses Everybody's there's less... dead. There's no one to fight Dude. for these things. There's no one. There's no infighting anymore. They're you know, the literally of families. Everyone's dead. So yeah. who's left? Cersei, yeah. her army. Khaleesi, her army. John, John. the North, the White Walkers. Yeah. That's it. There's yeah. nobody else. Dude, every You're other right. person that is just that's like because then you have like Jamie and you have Jorah and you have Sam. Well. They're all side characters. And, but they've been the around, main, so we know who they are. But they're are. not a main player yeah. in the Game of Thrones. Guess what? The Game of Thrones has got three people in it. That's, That's yeah. it. So is it less complex? <laughs> yeah. You know what? You want it to be because you can't you can't jam pack. Well, what seven, do they want? They want they, do, do people want you to add and introduce all these other new not only families that, and, Mikey, how many, and everything to confuse everybody else? But, especially since the crit and the criticism used to be, oh, there's too many characters. Yeah, read the fucking book. I know. Try figuring that shit out. Yeah. That well, shit I know is, we is we both we both got 
um, people involved in this show. I know you did. I know I've gotten several friends, family yeah. uh, into this show. And believe me, I've gotten so many messages. Uh, this is a main reason why I wanted to do this. And that's why, you know, we came up with this idea to do these kind of this kind of podcast because I just love talking to people. And I would just tell them, dude, watch the first episode. Watch yeah, yeah, what yeah. happens. You know what I mean? And then call me. If yeah, you need yeah, to ask exactly. me questions, yeah, call me. Same shit. Yeah. And you know what I mean? In the beginning, there was a lot of sigils. You see, you see, uh, you know, soldiers marching. There was a sigil there to kind of tell you, all right, this is the Baratheons. This is, you know, um, the Lannisters. These are, yep. you know, so it was, it was, um, they made it a point to have that stuff stand out. So you knew exactly who, who was, who was who. Um, you know, and pay, eventually you get into it. Though, man, you know, well, that's what you have to watch. The show is, the show was very in depth. Pay attention. Was, yeah. You know, George R. R. Martin made this huge world with these, with these, with these lines of family that go back tens and, tw you know, tens of generations back. Yeah. And the Targaryen family tree is so huge. He made this world so vast that it is difficult dude. I've watched it every one of these episodes multiple times. I know you have yeah. um, some of them, you know, more than two, three, four times, uh, you know, especially the ones that I really enjoy. Yeah. So it is, it is, you know, the, the criticism that this is going too fast. So the criticism that, no, that it's um, you're not getting be. much. It, it, exactly. I Dude, mean, it we've sucks. been watching the show for fucking seven years. Yeah, it this sucks. Is the it sucks that, yeah. that it is going to end. And now things are it moving is. a little faster to get to the end. It kind of sucks. As long but as they the don't same rush time, it. As long as they don't rush it. And I don't, don't feel, feel like it. I like it. I'm liking Me this too. pace. Me too. Give us what we want. Let's just get in there. Let's get let's yeah. get to the meat of things. Anyway, exactly. all right. So look, that's gonna do it for this episode. We're yes. a little bit longer than we wanted to, but that's hey, perfectly fine. This was fine. a good this was a good session. I it's like a good this. session. Uh, I want to thank you guys for being uh, here and watching and, and commenting and everything. You guys yes. are awesome. Uh, yep. Mikey, why don't you tell them where else they can get us at? Well, they can get us, of course. Uh, you can get us at Third Person Pod on Instagram and on Facebook. Don't forget iTunes. You can listen to us on your way to work, do whatever, walking around, jogging, whatever the fuck you do. Listen to the podcast. Check us out. Let us know how we're doing over there. Um, you know, we're always posting some 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 funny things, uh, some cool things on Instagram, a lot of cool, funny uh, posts. Let us know in Facebook comments as well, because we do a lot of posting there. You can catch all our videos and everything from there, too. Yep. So just, uh, you know, show us some love and show us those comments and let us know what you think. Yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, good. And I mean, this really, uh, I, I popped that up a little early, but the comic blitz. Uh, yeah, check it out. Complex.com. You can go get, you can use a promo code, get yourself some free comics. Go check that out. And also sure. Retro Squat. Uh, we just hit our 20th spot. episode uh, that yeah. went up. Uh, that went up uh, actually the day I recorded. We recorded this. That went up our 20th episode. It's a special episode. We did a little special thing. I don't know why we decided to do a special episode of 20. It doesn't matter. It's hey. cool. We changed our <laughs> format a little bit. Uh, we Check basically, it out. Check it out. Uh, yeah, it's it's pretty cool. Um, actually, I'll tell you what it is, Mikey. We actually took. So we took it. You know how we take random properties, like a random yeah. movie from the 80s. So we 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 randomly chose up up from one of those categories, mm. and then we had to take whatever that was and. And again, randomly chosen, turn it into something else. So basically, okay. we, um, I'll tell you that, that the 20th episode is the Benson TV show. Okay. Wow. And it was chosen that we had to make it into a cartoon. All right. All so right. that was the All episode. Right. So we had to turn Benson the TV show into Benson the cartoon. Uh, so that was pretty fun. So it was a really good episode. You can check that out. Go to retrosquad.com and you can yeah. get that episode. It's episode 20. It's Mark's special. And it's really it's really fun so if you guys can uh, get over there maybe check that out yeah, check it out uh, check and it also out. uh don't forget you can listen to us on any any place that mp3s are um where you can grab mp3s anything stitcher um cast box a google play it's on everything so check it out over there guys thank you so much and uh we will definitely see you on the next episode of yes. uh, third person game of thrones see you later guys Peace.